My name is Jeremy Fagan. I'm uh, 39 years old. Um, I grew up uh, in Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, I never met my real dad, but I had a father figure in my life, my brother's dad, which uh, he abused my mom and me all the time. Um, I had a family friend that uh, sexually abused me when I was younger. So I think uh, I was a little troubled from the start. Um, growing up, I going to school and stuff, I never really fit in, so I would drink and smoke weed. Um, I did that for years and years, and when I was like uh, 16, my appendix crumbled, uh, which I almost died. I was in the hospital for two weeks. Uh, I got prescribed uh, Vicodin, which I was getting a lot of those. You know, back then you got them pretty easy, um, which I got addicted to those pretty fast. Um, I did pain pills from then on out, Drake, and did uh, for years and years until uh, I couldn't get pain pills no more, and I was getting sick from not having the pills, so I uh, moved on to heroin so I wouldn't be sick. Um, I started off snorting that. I realized that I could, uh, you know, use a needle and not use as much and get higher. So I did that, um, I did that for years and years. Um, let's see. Uh, I had a son in 2007, uh, his name was Riley. Me and his mom were together, we used for, we used for many years. And I worked and the only thing I did pay my, use my money for was drugs and alcohol. Um, we eventually split up, and we were split up for years. I continued to do, you know, heroin and drink, smoke weed, everything. Um, eventually got so bad where they have taken, they took my son, I lost my apartment, I lost my job that I had, I lost everything. And I really went downhill then. Um, I wanted to, I uh, didn't want to live anymore. I wanted to kill myself. So I ended up going to the psych ward and put myself in the mental hospital. From there, I went to uh, treatment in Hamilton, Ohio, which I was there for three months, graduated. I got out and was sober for about six months, but I never had a sponsor. I didn't go to meetings. Uh, I didn't work no steps. So eventually, I started using again. Um, I used for a couple years again and it got bad where I was homeless for probably about six months I was on the streets and it was rough because I had burnt my bridges I didn't have nobody uh, my family didn't want nothing to do with me uh, so I didn't know how else to get help so I went to the hospital once again and told them I was going to kill myself I was in there for about two weeks before they sent me to treatment again um, I went to uh, up here in Dayton went to treatment and I was there for three months, and I come to Good Shepherd. And this time around, I got a sponsor. I worked steps. I go to meetings regularly. And today, I'm having a good life. Everything's working out.